this is Jim with Dakota Boat Retriever. I'm headed down here to uh, New Melton Hill Lake today. Do a little fishing, a little winter fishing. And uh, I know the weather does not look good for most of us. And, uh, as with the golfers that have to get out and golf a little bit through the winter, I've got to go fishing on occasion. And here in East Tennessee, the sauger are biting this time of year and the small mouth. The East Tennessee lakes, their lake levels can be up or down, currents, uh, and these boat ramps, if the water's down, sometimes you can get into some uh, tricky situations launching your boat, it can be dangerous, uh, but uh, you know, with a Dakota boat retriever, you don't have to be concerned about a lot of those issues, just take your, mount your Dakota on your boat the way you've chosen, and take him and hook him to a dock and launch him. The conditions today, water, I haven't checked the water temp, but it's probably 45 to 50 degrees down here. So the last thing I want to do is get wet. Uh, I don't like getting wet in the spring or summer, but especially this time of year. And uh, that way I can just back my boat up to the ramp and uh, take my Dakota boat retriever, attach it to the dock, float it off and go park, and my Dakota will take my boat safely and securely over to the dock. Now today I've got a, you know, it's not going to be a challenge for the Dakota to work because the wind's going to be helping the boat go in on this starboard side, which is the side I'll mount my Dakota on, and it's just going to kiss it right up to the edge of the dock. Now I know a lot of people have been concerned about uh, damage to their boat, but Dakota retrieves so slowly. Uh, I recommend that you use a uh, a uh, little boat bumper or what they call a possum hanging over to the side. But a lot of these docks have uh, their own bumper system on them as well. But uh, I, I don't get too concerned or worried about that. So uh, let me go through some uh, different mounting options I have on my boat and uh, then we'll go do a launch. Okay, you can see here that uh, Normally, I launch from the front of my boat. I mean, I use a lot of different options, uh, but this is a uh, Scotty flush mount. Uh, but today, the uh, and just the way the wind's blowing, uh, I'm going to remount this Dakota on the starboard side back by the uh, steering console, uh, just because I know that my boat will react better in these conditions with Dakota, and it's the safest, most secure way to do it. So, uh, as I was saying, I, I took my 9-inch riser off because I don't need that type of height and clearance on my starboard side to go over the trolling motor or windshield. And since the uh, dock is going to be on the starboard side, I'm going to change out my 9-inch riser to this 3-inch riser. And I'm going to simply install it right here today. Now, I know I've done a lot of talking about Dakota and its use, but trust me, uh, things can get hazardous this time of year. You know, we're, we're pushing an 8 to 10 mile an hour gust right now, water's cold. Make sure you've always got your life jacket. Always wear your life jacket. And uh, let's hook this up and do a launch. <laughs>
know, I've been launching boats for 50 years, as many of you, maybe a little bit longer than that. And me and my daddy started out with a 12-foot John boat, and we normally packed it. But then we moved up to one of those uh, 15 and a half foot big fiberglass with a 35 horse scot and big old Cadillac fins on the back. And the trailer had little uh, wheelbarrow tires. And so you, you know where boating has went from those days to now. And the, the same launching procedures from 50 years ago, many still do it today. I've done it. I've launched every kind of boat you can imagine. Uh, but with a Dakota boat retriever, you're not going to see me climbing up on the tire into the bed of the truck, on top of the bed of the truck, over on the trailer, uh, then climbing up from the trailer into the boat, driving my boat to the dock, and then coming back and getting in my truck and driving away. All of those steps and processes are eliminated with a Dakota boat retriever. I mean, what are you waiting on? Uh, you waiting to... Uh, injure yourself, get your feet wet, just have a miserable day before you ever get out on the water. I mean, I had an amputation 37 years ago, and uh, even if I had two legs, I would have a Dakota boat retriever. Some people are concerned about crowds. Obviously today there's not any boat traffic here today, and very little boat traffic in the winter. But uh, in the spring and summertime when the ramps are busy, we all have to wait but, you know, just be patient and wait your turn. Uh, if everybody had a Dakota, there probably wouldn't be as much traffic at the boat ramp. Dakota will save an average of four to five times that you spend at the boat ramp unloading your boat. You know, a lot of people uh, are concerned about control of their boat when launching with the Dakota, but there's a learning curve to everything. So uh, after you use Dakota two or three times, you're going to understand how Dakota reacts with your boat and uh, as much experience as I've had obviously with launching my boat I know how he's going to react in different situations and keep in mind there's no more launching of a boat simply back in and float your boat off the trailer Dakota will take it wherever you've got it tied let me show you how it works the ease and efficiency of a Dakota boat retreat Notice here on this particular lake level and uh, boat dock, I've probably got 35, 40 foot of rope out, but Dakota has 80 feet of rope in him. But I fish a lot of different lakes, and when the waters go down, it does a lot of tricky things to the ramp distance and how far you are away from your ramp. So you've got 80 feet here. Something I always do is I carry a 3 8 inch, 10 foot long, 2 to 1 bungee two ends that are hog, no, hog ring together with two loops and if I need an extra 10 or 20 feet I simply attach one end to the end of my Dakota the other end to the boat dock and this gives me a hundred feet. Keep in mind when you're launching Dakota and you need some rope here you can see that I'm about three foot four foot from the water's edge you can actually back your trailer up into the water you just want to be safe keep your feet dry to where you can reach the rope and simply walk it to where you're going to tie off to.
folks, it doesn't get any easier and simpler than that. This is an investment for the rest of your life. Dakota has a lifetime warranty, and we are going to stand behind that warranty. So what are you waiting on? You can see how safe, how secure, how strong Dakota Boat Retriever is. You know, after a day of fishing and a day on the water, these mounting systems we've designed for Dakota, be it the Scotty Ram or even a seat uh, pedestal mount using the seat pin, just know that they are secure and strong enough to drive down the road. You don't ever have to take it out if you're happy with where Dakota is. But I always take the road and secure it on something here. If I'm mounted on this side, I always go to the cleat. That just keeps Dakota from spinning in the wind. But driving down the interstate, you're good to go. Thank you.